Welcome back. It's hard to determine if our next character can actually be considered a character, because in the game, it's more like a quest. It's a little hard to explain. But at one point you do interact with it, and it is worth noting in the history of the Wasteland, so it counts. This is the Spirit of the Wasteland. Now, technically, the spirits are something that was created for Epic Mickey 2, so there's no real backstory to talk about in terms of them. But if you look at the main spirit, the one that introduces the players to the concept, you'll see that his face is from a character in a Disney cartoon. Specifically, the 1950 short, The Brave Engineer, based on the Wallace Saunders ballad of the legendary railroad engineer, Casey Jones. It tells the story of how the engineer went through many different obstacles to try to catch up on time for a mail delivery before getting himself and the train into a large accident with another locomotive. Of course, this isn't the most accurate retelling of the tale of Casey Jones, and I don't mean that because it's a Disney cartoon. The fireman, Sib Webb, who was with Casey during that time, wasn't in the short and unfortunately, Jones didn't survive the accident. The Brave Engineer was actually edited later on for censorship to remove one scene where Casey fights off a bunch of thugs because they had guns and knives. A similar case that happened to the film Make Mine Music, where they took out the entire segment of the Martins and the Coys from the movie's VHS and DVDs. The short was narrated by Jerry Colonna and sung by the King's Men a singing group behind many of Disney's animated films in the 40s. Also, Disney fans might remember Jerry Moore for being the narrator of Casey and the Bat and the March Hare in Disney's Alice in Wonderland. I have an excellent idea. Let's change the subject. <laughs> Later on, in 1957, the short would appear in several TV specials, like Four Fabulous Characters, and Sing Me a Story with Belle in 1999. In 2002, the short was released on a special DVD called Disney's American Legends, which features the Brave Engineer and three other animated shorts based on American folklore, each hosted by James Earl Jones, including John Appleseed, Paul Bunyan, and a more recent cartoon that tells the story of John Henry. I understand how weird it is that you come in and expect me to talk about some spirits, and then suddenly I go on about an old Disney cartoon based on an American folktale. I apologize if that threw you off. But with that out of the way, let's go into the game and actually talk about some spirits. Now when I say spirits, I don't mean the kind that haunts houses and like to scare people. No, 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 no. This is more of a metaphorical spirit, like the kind that people have in order to create the wasteland. When you first meet the spirit in front of the Walt statue, as the floating face of Casey Jones, he explains to you who the spirits are and to meet him in the Mean Street Museum. Also, the voice of the spirit is the same guy who did Yen Sid, Corey Burton, in the exact same tone he used in the Walt Disney World Explorer CD-ROM, where it's like an interactive guide to Walt Disney World. It may not be that important to know, but I thought it was really cool to mention, since as a kid, I used to play the crap out of this game. Anyways, upon entering the museum, you will find several statues that represent the 12 spirits, or qualities, that created and made the Wasteland strong even through tough times like the Thinner Disaster. Heritage, individualism, pioneering, self-reliance, adventure, knowledge, compassion, independence, freedom, discovery, innovation, and tomorrow are the guiding spirits that lead the people of the Wasteland for a brighter and better life. The purpose of the spirits for you is that they allow you to have some bonuses and upgrades for your journey including faster recovery on Mickey's paintbrush or Oswald's remote, attracting more guardians, have the special inks last longer, and more. But in order to summon the spirits, you have to collect some rare pins as you play through the game. Some you have to get by buying them individually or buying black bags at the pin store, and some you have to get them through side quests. It's also interesting to note that the statues of the spirits of the museum are modeled after some of the more noteworthy residents of the Wasteland, including Gremlin Gus, Animatronic Goofy, Hortensia, 
Horace Horse Collar, and of course, Random Dog Person number 47. 